I had a couple of things I was thinking about. I, you know, I, I really can't deal with this uh, idiotic perspective on, you know, the weather when it comes to not really so much fall or uh, uh, spring or whatever the hell, but like <laughs> with winter and with summer, people seem to be surprised when what happens is what's supposed to happen. Now, I know if it's, you know, 110 degrees in August, that's a pain in the ass. And in January, if it's, you know, negative five. But these are extreme conditions. If you live like I do in, like, um, Fairfield County in the lower end, you know, it's supposed to snow and be cold in the winter. It's supposed to be hot and muggy in the summer. That's the way it goes. People are like, I just, I can't believe it's going to be, like, 12 degrees tomorrow. I mean, I just, I don't understand. It's the way it fucking works. About, it's going to be 90. I mean, did you hear that? Is it 90? Was it 83? It's 90? Give me a fucking break. It's supposed to be like this. If you want it to be 77 every day, move to fucking San Diego. There's nothing wrong with that if that's what you want. If you want four seasons with ridiculous temperature changes, then you're going to be in the Northeast, and that's going to be the way it is. I don't understand it. It's like, you know... It's, you order a thing of pancakes, and they're like, they're so fluffy. I mean, I had three of them, and I, you know, I, I just, I couldn't finish the rest. You knew you couldn't finish it, because no one can finish a stack of pancakes this big, unless you're a competitive eater, or for some reason you're unconscious, and someone's feeding them through, uh, through, uh, through a tube to you. I don't know. It, it just doesn't make any sense to me how people expect things to be different that aren't different. Like, you know, you ever see these drivers, they're going down the road, and they're like... Pfft a red light. How do you like that shit? I mean, what's the luck? The luck? One out of three? You have green, you have yellow, you have red. That's the way it works. Yes, you're going to see cops on the side of the road not doing anything. You're going to see people weaving in and out of lanes. That's the way it goes. If you don't like that, don't drive a car. If you don't like the announcements on the subways that go, bing! that no one can understand find a way to not take the subway or just deal with it it's not going to change that's my whole point my point is people whip themselves into this frenzy over things that are not going to make any sort of goddamn bit of difference yes if it's 20 degrees outside and the guy who's delivering your pizza goes from the car to the house and the pizza's not that hot okay that's the way it works it's you know it's science Cold air makes hot things not so hot. I just don't get it, you know. And it's the same thing with the doctor's office. Like, oh, we have to wait in the waiting room. When have you not had to wait in the waiting room? If you go into the ER and you have, like, a severed finger or something, you're still going to have to wait at some point, even if you have the finger on ice in some sort of, sort of Dixie cup or something. They're going to, you know, it's not like you're going to walk in the room and ten of the best, you know surgeons are going to come in and stitch you back up. You're going to have to sit there at some point. I was in the hospital, you know, I had a blood clot on my leg and I was not considered like, you know, uh, a, a number 10 priority or something. So I sat and I waited for, you know, an hour and a half or something. And then they, they did it. But at the same time, like, you know, if you go in and you, let's say like, you know, you sliced your hand and you put a paper towel on it, it doesn't mean they're going to bring you in right away. They're going to say, okay, is this person about to die or not? And everyone knows this, and yet they still get upset. So, I don't know. And then the other side of that stupidity is there's people that need to go to the emergency room because they, uh, b but they don't because they still have to, you know, wait. And they're like, oh, I, I don't want to have to wait. Like, all right, you know, jackass, bleed out because you don't feel like sitting there. They have magazines. We all have smartphones. You could access the fucking world from your phone. You could play any game you could think of. If you go on Facebook, you could look at that girl from high school that you always liked, and now she's married and you're mad at that, but it doesn't matter because she's still hot and you sent her a winky face. Not that I've done that. But at the same time, you know... You can find ways to deal. And the fact that people just kind of like block out reality from their imagination, I don't, I don't understand it. And no one's ever been able to explain it to me. The only thing people ever say is, why do you get yourself so angry about it? And I'm like, well, I mean, I'm not a magician. Like, how could I not get annoyed at something like that? It's, I feel like people that look at, like, if you look at somebody that is walking in the rain, head down, texting... Like, cars are whizzing by. People are honking at them. 
how do you not look at that and be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And then I've been with people that are be like, don't get so upset. I'm like, this is our society. People don't make any goddamn sense. I love hanging out on my phone, but you know what? If I'm hanging around my friends, my phone's in my pocket. I'm not sitting there like, you know, checking what temperature it is in fucking Greenland or something. And, you know, whatever. I think that's about it. It's time to go to sleep. And, uh, take your vitamins and, uh, don't pet the cat too hard. Laters.